This is Alexia Tsetsis from TechCrunch TV, and I'm here with Enrique Allen, and he and uh, his partner, Dave McClure, are co-founders of Designer Fund, or The Designer the Fund. The Designer Fund, and this is a new fund coming out of uh, the 500 Startups Incubator that's only for designers. Correct. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, how this fund will work? Sure. Um, so we're in our early stages right now, and sh should I look at you primarily? <laughs> All right. Unless uh, it's really t difficult to. No, no, I, I like looking <laughs> at you. That's cool. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, really the Designer Fund is about bringing together uh, the best designers, whether they've started their own agencies or their own startups or work at big companies right now, anyone that's passionate about teaching um, you know, the intersection of entrepreneurship and design. And we really, as an experiment, want to increase the number of startups founded by designers. And so it's not necessarily exclusive to designers. You can be an engineer with a design slant or perhaps a distributor or marketer that, that works with designers. So we will, you know, work with teams that, that aren't just designers because it really, be, it really needs a, a well-rounded and holistic team to, to make uh, successful products go, so. So uh, what are the technical details? How many people are you looking sure. to accept? Yeah. So right now, in terms of the technical details, um, we currently haven't posted an application or a call for designers from uh, top schools like the Stanford D School or RISD or CMU or agencies uh, and consultancies. Right now, what we're focusing on is getting folks like Christina Broadback, uh, first designer at one of the first designers at YouTube, Ben Blumenfeld, early designer at uh, Facebook, uh, Craig Maud, uh, one of the lead designers at Flipboard. Um, so we're focusing on getting those folks on board. Irene Au just joined Fire Startups as a venture advisor and mentor. Chris Messina, as I mentioned. So really, it's bringing together the thought leaders, the people I look up to that have mentored me, and say, hey, what can we do to address this problem right now that everyone and their mama in Silicon Valley <laughs> wants a designer? Wants a designer. <laughs> And there's none, none to be had because they don't, they're not necessarily given this as an option in like a more traditional design school. Like are you, specifically are you looking for UX, UI, are you looking just for graphic designers, just web designers? Sure. I mean, I think it's going to take a different breed, right? A new generation of designers that not only have visual ability, interaction ability, information architecture, um, everything from user research and discovery, design ethnography, um, to really foster uh, consumer uh, innovation, right? Um, so these people need to have both the expertise, as I mentioned earlier, like T-shaped people, right? They have expertise in a domain or a particular skill, but they also have a breadth of uh, experiences, whether that be internationally or across different domains. So in particular, we're looking for uh, designer founders um, that exhibit um, those qualities and have proven to, to ship and actually build uh, successful uh, products or services, not just talk about it, not just push pretty pixels, which I love. I love pretty things and, and well-designed stuff, but it's more importantly, it's the intention behind why they're building these things and what's the process, the replicable design process that they go through uh, to consistently discover these insights and then rapidly execute and ship. So if, if I'm a designer founder and I participate in Defund, what, or in the Defund, what do I get out of it? Sure. Well, I mean, how this, like, if you're a budding designer interested in video, what if I told you that if you apply to the Designer Fund, Chad Hurley would mentor you? I would apply <laughs> instantly <laughs> to have a chance to, to work with amazing people. So as I was telling you earlier. Is Chad Hurley a mentor? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying anything. I'm just saying I, in, this, in this context right now, I'm talking to you about um, what uh, this fund can be and the community uh, that really comprises and drives um, this ecosystem for designers interested in startups. So. More importantly than seed capital, right? Money's getting commoditized on AngelList and all the other people throwing around seed funds. So it's, it's not just about you know, money, it's about the network of talented people. So I told you earlier, folks that I interview that are applying to YC and other sorts of uh, uh, incubators, accelerators like IO Ventures and AngelPad in San Francisco, um, increasingly they're applying because of the network. 
not because of the, the seed capital. The seed capital just helps remove the activation barrier to doing that, help pay some of the bills, help get you on your feet. What's more important is the, the community of people, the education and the other resources that we can uh, provide, such as space, such as um, you know, a curriculum that we build in-house. So for instance, if you're a designer without engineering, much engineering talent, um, help get paired up with some hackers and increase your experience in Node.js. If you're a awesome engineer hacker who's looking for a designer and wants to become a better designer themselves, come hang out with us and we'll run you know, classes or workshops or night sessions to address these issues. Um, so really it's, it's more like, a, uh, again, an ecosystem. It's not about Dave, it's not about 500 startups, it's not about me, it's about a community of people that are committed to helping uh, designers solve meaningful problems and really take that step, take that leap into entrepreneurship. That's what it's about. So what's the size of the fund? <laughs> I can't, I told you before this, we can't talk I'm a about reporter. that. I, asked these I know, I know. <laughs> well, uh, put this way, if you're interested in playing ball with us, if you want to put skin in the game, throw up at least 50K um, to help sponsor and fund the next startups founded by designers. Um, so we so you're looking for money from other designers, from rock star designers, designer think, angels. Sure. I think that that would be the ideal scenario uh, to bring together, again, the awesome designers around the world that I look up to, that the next kid who's in high school or in middle school or at college who's tired of going to pre-med and wants to explore design, those are the people that, that we need to inspire that next generation to, to do this. So uh, it's really about uh, startups that are both funded and founded by designers. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Top five favorite designer founded startups? Uh, well, I mentioned a couple earlier, and uh, we have just a little splash page up. But you know, there's YouTube, there's Android, uh, SlideShare, which is on our portfolio. Rashmi is amazing. Um, you know, there's Tumblr, uh, obviously, that's, that's doing great. Uh, and uh, including in our portfolio right now, uh, Vodison, uh, founded by Jason Petorti, uh, X Mint. We got Color Lovers, which is also a YC company. Um, Visually, which you saw today, and I think covered, which we appreciate. Um, Motion Math as well, who you, who you covered. Um, these are folks that are, are taking that step. They've gone through this route of um, either design school, they've come to a place like Fiverr and Startups where we embrace design, and now they're taking that next step and take it to the next level. So. Thank you, Enrique. All right, Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you so much.